What is up, Apex Nation, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! Hope you guys are having a great day. I don't know if this is the first time you're seeing this frame. I can't remember if I had this in the last episode, or I built it between last episode and this one. Either way, I like it. It looks really good. Look at it. Look at it over there. Oh, cool looks. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, uh, I have been... Working on the decks. I'm I want to get going real fast though, but I have another deck I want to make <laughs> real quickly with these guys. The dual avatar fist. Look how cool these guys are. Light? What are you doing? You should be fine. Oh, because that's flickering and you're flickering. That's my problem? Yeah. Okay. I I'm trying something different. But okay, uh, yeah, these guys. I want to work on these guys. I'm not exactly sure if they can synergize with another team. Like, uh, no, that's Dual Fist. Like, these guys. Or, um, these ones? Yeah. And then there's other, like, these guys. They're Ritual. But I don't know if they're, like, they'll synergize. The Cyber Angels look really cool as well. I bought some more packs. I bought it offline because I was like, yeah, I'll just get them. Get it going. I got to get cards and URs and stuff because... Still working on Super Quant. I'm getting closer. I think I only need, yeah, three, uh, four more. And I could technically do it, I think, but I would destroy my URs. So I'm holding off. But anyway, let's jump into it. We're level 11 now, you can't see. Uh, do a gold four, which I don't deserve because the Monarch deck is not good in gold. Dual pass 85. Nothing else special happened. Let's go into duel. Can you guys see that light flickering? I don't know. I'm learning. I'm figuring things out. So I might have to plug that in somewhere else. That's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I doing here? <laughs> Solo is where we're supposed to be going. -da 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 -da. And I have been going through these gates. I don't think I've done all of them yet. And just going through and beating the mission we have with my uh, other deck. I think I've talked about that before. We're here. I was like, wait, exclamation point. I was confused for a second. Digital bugs in cyberspace. This must be a lot of link dueling. Nope, Xyz. Dang it. The digital bugs transform themselves into powerful Xyz monsters using special Xyz summons. Watch out for, these un for the evolution of these unstoppable boogs. That sounds interesting. Let's, uh, let's read the scenario. And we get Howl and Insect. Oh, I was expecting more mechanical. When this is destroyed by a battle and sent to the grave, you can special summon one insect type monster with 1500 or less. Yeah, okay. Also, real quick, I played a game the other day and. Uh, um, in in Yu-Gi-Oh, a duel. The other day, and I lost on turn one. I didn't even get a turn. Hit my opponent chose to go first, and they won. I was like, this is bull. And it was boring, too, but I sat there for 15 minutes while he did his turn. It was terrible. And it just, it, he won first turn. It sucked. The rapid process of network, uh, cyber networks has brought the great benefits to humanity. Great benefits to humanity, not too great benefits. Anyway. They are now integral part of our lives. However, the rapid progress and change left several minor bugs in the corners of the network. Initially, they were just meaningless data with little impact. However, the bugs accumulated data progressively learned over time, and by the time we noticed, they taken on the appearance of insects. This is what I expected. That's cool, I like that spider. Experts theorize that their primary objectives are proliferation and evolution. Proliferation. Proliferation. Okay, sure. Despite their different uh, differing qualities, the particular thing they act as if they were one species with a singular purpose. In our world, we observe a symbolic relation between ants and Aphids in which ants drive away ladybugs. The aphids' natural enemy to obtain nectar from the aphids. Okay. However, ants and aphids are different species whose different who objectives don't align. 
might be that the bugs were born from a singular dat uh, datrum, and only because their appearances differ, they are assumed to be different species. It will take some time to get to the bottom of this. In any case, we cannot overlook the bugs spreading throughout the network. Whoa. They are all cool. I really like the moth. Network ministry, or is that a butterfly? It looks mothish to me. The I mean, I, this antenna thing probably tells you if you knew a lot about insects, but I don't. Network administrations have come to refer to these defects who achieve rapid growth and evolution as the digital boogs. Henceforth, they've taken action to exterminate these defects. You can't exterminate the defects. Also, if you would like to join the Discord in the my Discord and talk about anything, we talk about all kinds of things. We talk about anime, there's music, there's random crap, there's art, screenshots. You can talk about Yu-Gi-Oh with me. I'm probably the only person right there that will talk about Yu-Gi-Oh with you, but you never know. All kinds of things. We also do like uh, movie time, I guess we're going to call it. And sometimes I said movie night because night time is probably not going to work. But anyway, we do a lot of stuff. Just join the Discord and link in the description below. Everyone there is friendly. And if they're not, I will yell at them. But yeah, join there. Also, if you want to support the channel at a higher level, patreon.com slash Apex Reaper Gaming is the place to do it. Link in the description down below as also. All right, let's, um, let's check these bugs out. I didn't like this scenario. I thought that was kind of lame. Also, I don't like my camera's re delayed reaction in my light flickering. Hmm. All right, but I'll, I'll make that change after this episode. By Xyz summoning insect type, my glasses are dirty. Holy crap, this angle is, let's go back to this angle. Insect type monsters, Xyz monsters words with digital bug monsters as their material. You can grant them a range of effects. This deck also allows you to change the level and further stack materials to keep Xyz summoning to bring up more powerful monsters, including rank three, five, and seven. Seven, what's the seven bug? Is seven bug the Hercules beetle? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he's got a face down. The world is going to end. Digital bug web soldier. <laughs> I like their name, so Digital Bug Centibite. Oh, that's awesome. All right, try summoning Web Soldier. Okay, what does Web Soldier do? All right, cannot be used as an Xyz material monster for an Xyz summon except for the Xyz summon of an insect type monster. I see, I like that. I like that is a synergy I always talk about how I really liked it. Once per turn, you can target one face up attack position monster you control, change this to defense position, and if you do, especially summon one level three or lower, or one level three, no, not even lower, one level three insect. Oh, encoded and overloaded. All right, I will be right back. We're back. Okay, so, yeah, that was an uh, issue on my end. I tried to use a portable SSD to record to, but apparently something went wrong and. Something else went wrong with OneDrive, decided to delete folders on me, and I just had to spend a half an hour getting those folders back and setting up everything back because, you know, Windows is a jerk. But anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, so this one, we can uh, special summon level insect monsters from your hand and a pest position. An Xyz monster that was summoned using this card as material gains the effect. If it's Xyz summon, the defense of all face up monsters your opponent controls becomes zero. Also, change them to defense position. Okay. Activate bug, digital bug, web soldiers. Effects and get ready to exceed summon. So, activate the effect. Oh, change your battle position. Okay. Forgot that was a thing. Now we get sent to bite. Cannot be used to exceed except insect type. Once per turn, when this face up card is changed from attack position to defense position you can special summon one level three insect monster type from your deck in defense position oh if only i could activate die if i can activate that more, more than once per turn i could do this and exceeds monster that was summoned using this as a material gets the effect this card can attack all defense position monsters your opponent controls once each oh that's really cool Oh, but that's someone. So if you have that on the field, someone up that uses effect to do that one. That's two more monsters you'll have. So that'd be four you would have on the field. That's pretty cool. 
So we have uh, Giga Brilliant. I know you guys can't see that very well, but I mean, if, where else am I putting my little camera down here? I mean, I could put the camera down here. It blocked the deck, and that's not a terrible spot for it. That's an idea. But anyway, it's this guy. Giga Brilliant. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card. I'll face up monsters. You get 300 attack. We're about to bring that one out. And then there's the Cicada King, which looks amazing. If the battle position of this card is changed, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. When a monster in the field activates its effect, you can detach one material from this card. The target monster to get its effect. Then make one insect monster in your field gain 500 defense or change its battle position. Okay. So we're going to get Digital Bug Scaradiator. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking. Uh, did I once return turn either play phase? You can detach two much materials from this card. Target one monster your opponent controls, change its battle position. And if you do. It has its effect negated until the end of the turn. Once per turn, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can attach that destroyed monster to this card's material. Ooh. Interesting. Low attack, though. What else are we doing to this? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We have Bug Single, so I don't know what that's going to do, but we'll see here in a second. I imagine we're not just leaving it at that. Attack your opponent's life points start. I guess we are. Yeah. Hush. Target one insect monster. You control special summon from your extra deck. One insect monster that is two ranks higher or lower. Ooh. By using it as the material. Special summon true Dixies. Uh, also, target becomes these monster and special summon. You can only turn it Okay, so basically everything there goes. Inside. Okay, we'll see what happens. And attack. Now they're going to say bug signal and special summon another one to attack directly again. That's kind of cool. Bam. Select you. So now I can get a level five out, which we have Exastag. <laughs> Looks really cool. Detach one material from this card. Target one monster your opponent controls in your graveyard. Equip that to this card. This card gains attack equal to half the image. Ooh, wow. Wow. If you just keep that on the field and... Oh, wow, that could actually get really, really strong. But it's kind of a, uh, you know, it's a, a one that takes a bit to get going. Digital Bug Corbage? Corbage? I don't know how to say that. But this is the moth thing. You can special, you can also actually summon this card by detaching two materials from a rank three or four insect type monster you control. Then using the Xyz monsters as a material. Xyz Exceeds materials attached to that monster and also become his monster on this card. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Target one defense position monster your opponent controls. Shuffle it into the deck. Once per turn, if the battle position of a monster on the field is changed, except during damage step, you can attach one insect monster from your graveyard to this card. Ooh. It's kind of cool, but they're not powerful. They feel like they'll be taken out quite fast in a lot of decks. Doesn't seem like this deck will go far. It's cool. It's not one that I want to build. We'll see. Maybe it's got some power I just don't know about. I like it though. It's thematic and that means I like it. 150 Orby Orbs. So we're gonna get Bug Matrix, all insect monsters you control gain 300 attack and 300 defense. You can target one insect monster, Xyz monster. You control attach one insect monster from your hand to that monster as material. Oh, that's not bad. What am I going to get for completing it with the other deck? Self-destruct dance. Flip. Each player takes a thousand damage. This card is a bad on such a graveyard and inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. That's two thousand damage to your opponent if he just attacks this card. Now you take a thousand. Okay. Let's see how we can do with this deck. Everything doing good over here? Yeah. I mean, I'm back to my old setup, so yeah. Everything's gonna be good. <laughs> Tried something new, didn't work. Okay, we got Scent of Bugs. We got Cocoon Thing. We got Roach Rider. Or Regist Rider. 
And we have something else on the field. I'll take a look at here in a second. A lady or LED bug. <laughs> like a lady bug. That's cool. Any monster that is normal summon flips something is changed. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay, so what do we have here? Cannot be used as... Once per turn, if this card is in attack position, you can target one level 3 monster in your graveyard. Change this card to defense position to do a special summon of that exceeds monster defense. And if you use this, you get attack position. Attacks a defense position monster. Your opponent cannot activate. Effects cannot make it into the end of the damage step. Okay. Uh, this one is sentiment. Didn't we already use this one? Oh yeah, once per turn, if this card's face up attack position changes defense position, you can special summon one level three from your deck. So that's not bad, because once I put that in attack, it's going to change it to defense, so that effect will activate. What about you? Once per turn, when this face up card is changed from attack to defense, you can add one level three monster from your deck to your hand. And then when this card destroys a monster draw card. That's not terrible. What do you do? When you normal summon a level 3 insect monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you make that then you make both this and that card level 5 or 7. If this card is special summoned from your hand, you can change the battle position of one insect monster you control. Gain a thousand attack. Whoa ho ho ho. So they both could become level 5 or level 7s. What do we have here? So 5 brings out that, but where is the 7? Oh, look at you. Titanic Moth. If you control no other monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. But then, but when it does so, using this effect, the battle damage inflicted to your opponent is halved. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can detach one material and inflict 500 damage for each card in their hand. That's 1,500. And then we have Rhino Subus. Uh, detection. No, okay, don't need to do that. Then using the exceeds. Okay. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. Whoa. To your opponent. Once per turn during either player, you can detach one. Destroy the face up monster your opponent controls the highest defense. Okay, I think I'll bring out that. Look at that. Ten. Tens are spiders. Okay, so if I summon out this, right, I can go a bam. That changes, then I'll activate this effect. That comes out and face up attack. Yes, level seven, bam. Activate digital bugs, yes. Well, what did I do? Well, what am I doing here? Yes. Oh, that's going to change the battle position. Okay. That's going to allow me to get another monster on the field for fun. I will special something. That's not going to help me. Yeah. Oh, it comes out in defense already. It's fine. Uh, 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 what if I change your attack? Right? And bam, you got Thunder Defense. Didn't work. Uh, okay. But now I need to activate the Feather Duster. I have to get rid of that. <laughs> now I can Special Summon. Uh, what was I going to say? It was going to be you, right? Yeah, because when you attack, you flick Piercing. Yes. You and you... I, I clicked it. Now let's go over here in the corner. Let's bring out the bag. That's cool looking. Gain 3600 because of that effect. Awesome. I could change it to defense. Oh, I should have thought of that. Because then I could have done that and I could have brought out something else and then I could have done more. Okay. Well, what can I do? Uh, you, yeah, you will, uh, nope, that's not hard. I should have thought, I should have thought into defense, thought, bring that, bam, change it to attack. Because it's, right? It's just, I'll face up attack monster, change it to defense, if you need a special summon. Yeah, okay. I don't gotta do everything in one turn. 
Dude, I like this beetle. He's already at 3,600. Okay, I'm starting to see the power now. That wasn't terrible, and I got cards in my hand. I didn't have to waste all my resources. What do you, why do I want you? I could remove one and destroy you, right? Once we're trying to use the player's turn, you can detach one. Uh, control has defense. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I will take. Don't think it matter. You're the one that gains a thousand attack. No, you're the one that gains a thousand attack, right? Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Just in case I can take a card back from my graveyard, you know. All right, I'm making a waste monster reborn for it. Okay. Not terrible. I got. Ooh. Wait. Seven. Ah, oh, it's a nine. Dang, I'd be able to bring out a nine. Uh, but I could bring out a five with that. What should be my moth? Or big bug. Do I have anything powerful though? I have that use spells. So I only gained 500 attack. What can I do here? Okay, that's not terrible. Ooh, Ooh okay, I want to bring out this one. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out you. Bam, throw you into attack. Use you, activate the effect. Onto you. Change your defense. Uh, no. Would you like a special summon from your hand? Yes, I would. Okay. I think it comes into defense anyway. Uh, yes. The effect, uh, no chain, not on your chain. And I'm gonna special summon. Do I have anybody that gives me a thousand attack? Yeah, you. Perfect. Bam. Thousand attack. Use these two. It'd be really, really good. But that's only gonna be a level six, which is fine. So, yeah. Ooh, I could bring out a level ten, couldn't I? No, I can't. Uh oh yeah level threes okay that's fine I think you're getting a thousand attack ooh they all gain detach one they all gain okay change the battle position of that would do a lot of damage okay when this monster in the field okay that was that would start negating no you would work well because I could change your battle position but you would work really well as well gain attack let's go with you let's change the we'll change the battle position you and you oh well that's not what I wanted wait back up can I back up no I can't okay I don't know why I had to use all. Why can't I only use two? I must have been... I could have said no, I guess, somewhere. I don't know. I don't exist very well. Or very much, I should say. Uh, no. Oh, they're all zero. That's piercing. Man, I wish I had piercing. What can I bring out now? Five by getting rid of two materials, right? Okay, we'll do this. Select the monsters to be exceeds materials. So if I take you, influence, right? And I take you and you and you and you. Uh, why do I, I don't want to use you though? Hang on, what is happening? thought it said two more level five you can also exceed this by detaching two exceeds monsters from rank three or four insect monster using that material as the exceeds monster the exceeds materials attached to that monster also can exceeds monster this card wait what oh 
Oh, okay. So you gotta detach two away, then I could just use a single one to do it. I don't wanna do that. You, though, I can activate the. Oh, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's let's see what we can do. Because your effect. No, do I want to do that? No, 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 no! Stop, stop! I don't want to do that. Stop, stop! I don't want to do that. No, bad me. <sighs> sure, that one. This one, I guess. Cancel. Attack. Attack you. No. I messed up. What's this do? Oh, I only detached one, but I also did it. Yes. Cool. All right, attack. No, no. 36, you're down to 16. Activate this effect. Bam. Onto you. Bring out Mothy Moth. Into face up attack. All right, it was uh, stumbly, but I got through it. It's kind of a cool deck. I'll say that. It's kind of cool. Definitely need more practice with it, but it's kind of cool. Bug Matrix. Ooh, we actually get the deck. Okay, I mean, I won't delete it. <laughs> the digital bugs are pests that devour the cyber networks. The network administrators concluded and implemented a large scale removal plan. Ugh, red. The removal plan, which mainly involved network engineers, was successful, and they eradicated the digital bugs. The defects were fixed, and peace was restored. However, that peace was short lived. The cyber network became more vulnerable than before, before the offensive was launched. Some digital bugs appeared to have survived the attempts at eradication. The engineers who suspected this conducted a thorough scan. Naturally, they found no digital bugs. Meanwhile, waves of interference swelled globally. What could the cause of this problem be? What changed so much before and after the inter interference, I said. The answer was clear. It was the extinction of the digital bugs. After some deep deliberation, the engineers decided to release the stored digital bug data back into the network. The decision immediately shed light on the perplexing the obstacle. There was only one explanation. The digital bugs repaired fatal errors and helped stabilize the network. It was almost as if they were a symbolic relationship between humans and the digital bugs. By providing a place for the bees to live, humans can get their honey. Similarly, providing a cyber network for digital bugs, the defects are ex extinguished. Since then, those that cause notice noticeable disturbances are removed. But throughout removal is avoided, humans have decided to coexist with the digital bugs. That wasn't the greatest story. The deck is cool. I do really like the deck. I don't think it's powerful. I don't think it'll do well in ranked. But it's a fun deck. Oh, never mind. We gotta go look at that. Target will monster the part of grand equip that target with this card. This card gains attack and defense because of half the original attack equipped by this way once per turn. You can detach one material monster from your hand, then target one face up card in the field, send those to the graveyard. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if they'll also do well with synchros. You're at ultra rare? Holy crap, I did not notice that. Hmm, I don't know. I, I think they're cool. I just don't 
think it's worth it. <laughs> but all right, that is going to do it for this episode, this look at that one. And then we'll move on. I'm going to actually record a few of these today since I lost a lot of time. I was going to just record Yu-Gi-Oh! today. But that was fun. That was a fun deck to play. I don't think it's strong, but it was fun. And uh, we'll come back next time. And what are we on? We are on the dinosaurs. Q. Moving on to the dinosaurs. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. If you're new and you haven't subscribed for more content, feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Y'all stay positive. Thanks for watching.